you are attached to the previous job opportunity. Is that what you're telling me? I think so. See, attached means it's when we believe the thought that I need this. Okay? I needed that job to get to where I wanted to go. This is huge, guys. We're going to be doing it out of order here, but I don't want to slip by this opportunity. Attachment is what triggers ego, which we'll talk about. It puts you on the dark train. It causes all sorts of trouble. Attachment is believing you need something that you don't really need. How do I know you don't need it? Well, remember, my limitless life, empowerment, enlightenment, and self-actualization. Self-actualization is the ultimate form of being based on whose hierarchy of needs? Maslow's. <laughs> what do we need according to Maslow's hierarchy of need? Food, shelter, water, and oxygen. Now I'll throw in sleep, because if you've ever gone as long as I have without sleep, yeah, if you've had kids, you know sleep's on that list. You guys, anyone in here have oxygen? Come on, keep the hands moving. How about some food? Yeah, I see it coming in already. Food. Shelter. Anybody sleep outside last night on the road? Okay. Water. You all have everything you need. You've already got it. I love that because it makes it real simple. You don't need to be attached to anything ever again for as long as you live. Because you already have everything you need. The minute you feel yourself being attached, you just gave up your power. You gave your power to your subconscious, which is in control of your ego, which will now take over doing whatever it takes to get that thing. It'll give you ulcers. It'll give you uh, pump cortisol into your system. It'll make you... Um, uh, overlook your values it'll cause you to do things that you wouldn't normally do it'll do it's not your friend attachment is uh, one of the worst things that happens to any of us and we all do it almost always all the time once you get your arms around it again it could change your life beyond imagine so if you're attached to the idea that i needed that job then it's going to cause your body to do something very interesting this again is a little bit out of order but it's, it certainly falls into place nicely. Here's how your body's wired. To survive. Perfect example. If I handed you a knife and I asked you politely to give me a glass of your soda and you said no and I took it from you, would you stab me to death? He's just nodding his head. You're scaring me, dude. <laughs> yeah, noted. Everybody's slipping away. Not on my team. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're not going to hurt me. You're not going to kill me. You're not going to stab me. Because it's not consistent with your values. You know, thou shalt not kill. Right? But because you don't need that soda. But you do need oxygen. So I'm going to walk up to you, same two people. I'm going to grab you behind the neck, be, come up from behind. I'm going to pull you under the water. I'm going to get you in a chokehold, and I'm going to keep you down there, and I'm going to kill you. I am going to drown your ass. <laughs> because I forgot something. Oops, you've got a knife in your hand. But you're not that kind of guy. You don't go around stealing people. That's against your values. What am I going to look like in about 30 seconds from now if I don't let your ass up? A blood, I am going to be chum for the closest shark pot around. You will do whatever it takes. You won't just kill me. You'll kill me three times. As many times as it takes before, until you're up. Okay? That's attachment. You see, attachment is here to get you what you need. It's wired into you. It's wired in through your basal ganglia, into your, your most basic, lowest denominator brain, your amygdala, fight or flight. You have no control over your amygdala. Prefrontal cortex, that's your big thinking brain. Basal ganglia, that's more like the lizard brain. Amygdala, that's down here. You can influence this, but you can't talk to that. That's why if you have a panic attack, you can't just say, oh, everything's fine. And boom, it's gone doesn't work that way. You have to convince your basal ganglia everything's fine and it will shut off 
the amygdala. Well, the amygdala is turning on every single time you allow yourself to believe that you have to have something. I need this. I have to have this. And so you get that fight or flight thing. You get all of this adrenaline and all these other negative feelings. So what's the secret? It's the minute you start feeling those feelings, you're on the dark train. What's the job? Get off the dark train. How do I get off the dark train? Poke holes in my story. What's my story? I needed that job. Did you? Food, shelter, water, and oxygen. I don't need that job. It's just one of an, how many number of opportunities in the universe? One of an infinite number of opportunities. Let it go.